All right. This is a uh, response to Tim's hardcore. Uh, it's been a couple weeks. Sorry, Tim. Been kind of busy, but um, I took some notes. I usually don't take notes, but uh, you, you brought up a lot of questions in a 10-minute video, and there's no way I'm going to remember them all. So once in a while, I'll script myself. Um, Mountain Dew. Well, not really. It's a screwdriver, but. Mountain Dew is kind of the uh, nectar of the tards, no offense, but... Okay, here we go. Uh, first off, Tim, when I offered you a possible debate on the ooze or on my show, I wasn't intended to be a... Um, it was intended to be a friendly gesture, you know, just about creationism and, you know, the difference between Satanism and Christianity and why you think Christianity might be better. Um, that was it. Uh, we can do this, too. This is fine. And you mentioned... Um, <clears throat> When Dark Fool called into the ooze on um, the ooze's show, actually it was a sin episode, it was supposed to be my show, and Dark Fool called in, and you seemed that you, f you kind of got the impression that I was a little lost and didn't have much to add to it when Dark Fool called in. Uh, that was mainly because I thought that they were having a great conversation and I wanted to just let it go. And, you know, uh, when it comes to theism, I mean, I don't have an interest in it. It's not really because I'm lost in it. It's just because I reject the concepts of deities. So I really didn't have much to say about it. You know, and Dark Fool is my friend. Um, the use is my friend. So I just kind of let them roll with it. Um, also, I would have had a hard time feeling that show, an hour-long show, with just me. <laughs> so, you know, I was grateful that Dark Fool called it. And I thought it was a great show. Um... You know, then you brought up uh, an analogy that I thought was kind of funny of, um, of me being kind of as a two-year-old trying to learn mechanics when um, it comes to theism. Well, I mean, that's one way of looking at it. Or the other way of looking at it is in a uh, more realistic fashion is that I just don't give a shit because I'm not a theist. In fact, I'm an anti-theist. I think I reject the concept of deities and I actually I think it's destructive and harmful. You know, and... Uh, so I don't really think that I'm unable to grasp the concepts. I just don't have an interest in it. I'm not a theist. Um, you know, at best I'm an agnostic. I'm open to the idea of there possibly being forces. Well, in fact, let me correct that. I know there are forces beyond our understanding and beyond our control that do have an influence in uh, life and matters of the world. But I'm not. I don't think they're conscious. <clears throat> I don't think they're conscious. I don't think they're good or evil. They're just there. So uh, it kind of depends on what your definition of theism is. And when you mention that, um, you know, a lot of people I associate with, like Dark Fool, the Ooze, Dark Seven, and Jason King, uh, you say that they are more theists. Well, I mean, I I don't think they're theists in the sense that you think they are. In fact, I'm pretty sure that they're not. Now, don't quote me on this because you'd have to ask them specifically. But I have talked to them. Hold on. I have talked to all these guys for a long time. And very, I don't think any of them would actually consider themselves a theistic saintness. Not in the sense that you consider theism. Uh, so, they may believe in forces or powers that be that they can tap into for magical purposes, but I don't believe that they actually believe they're deities, and I don't think that they worship deities in that sense. I don't think they believe in an afterlife either. Now, don't quote me on this, but that's just my general impression. And, you know, um, don't, don't presume that my lack of interest in theism uh, denotes an inability to understand it. It's just, I don't give a fuck. I really don't care, so... Why? <laughs> I, I reject the whole concept, so I have a lack of interest in it. It's just, you know, I, I tune myself out to it because I, I rejected the concepts of deities, of God, of devil, of the God, devil, heaven, and hell, good, evil, black, white. You know, I try to think out of the box, and I, I'm just not interested in it. I, I don't see things in that light. So that's why people would consider, my, consider me an, uh, a Levian Satanist, an atheist, atheistic Satanist agnostic Satanist, self-styled Satanist, a modern Satanist, but I do believe that I think I have, um, how do you put it, I think I have uh, lost my train of thought. Let me find my notes here. Um, maybe I should be drinking Mountain Dew instead of screwdrivers on. Uh, 
Yeah, but you know, it's like I, I found a mutual kinship and uh, brotherhood with people like Dark Fool, Jason King, B. Zeno, uh, Avenger Satanus, Sean Hartnell, The Dark Seven, and many others more. You know, I mean, I've kind of found a, a mutual kinship based on similar interests and similar goals. And whether their definition of Satanism differs from mine, you know, that, that's, that's, that's okay with me. Like I said on my channel, a friend of the devil is a friend of mine. What I mean by that is just that. I have a mutual fellowship with these people, you know, based on similar interests and similar goals. And, you know, you did mention that I contradicted myself when you said, um, or when I said I'm not here to convert people. And then I followed up with, you know, my goal is a diabolical infestation of the human race and to turn people away from God. Well, that, you're absolutely right on. I did contradict myself. And, uh... That is absolutely true. I guess if you want to see me, if you see that as a, a, a way of converting people, I personally don't because I really don't care what people believe so long as it doesn't affect me directly. But I am here to help educate and to help uh, motivate people that have an interest anyway. And that's a key point, that have an interest and uh, the ability to see things outside of heaven and hell, good and evil, black and white. So in a way I did contradict myself and yet yeah, to make the record clear, yeah, the diabolical infestation of the human race and when my definition of diabolical is different from yours, 